Noel here with Panda Select to talk about our new product, Extreme Top Spin. So we're always taught that we need to generate more top spin, that it's really the way the modern game's going. But how do you generate top spin? We're always taught to brush up on the ball, this low to high motion, but people still struggle with it. Especially if you're a player who played back in back in the day, maybe some older rackets, graphite, wooden rackets, you don't hit with that much top spin. Just not the way the game was taught. Well, extreme top spin here. Just a rubber pad with these ribs on it will help you improve your game dramatically, allowing you to generate a lot more topspin. The secret is really these ribs, when you swing, will allow you to feel the friction of the ball on the racket. You're going to get used to that low to high feeling, and what's more, because of the extra weight, once you take this thing off and you actually are playing in a match or you're practicing with your friend, you'll be swinging faster, you'll be able to generate more racket head speed. Therefore, your ball is going to kick off the court much quicker. So, let me show you how to put this thing on. So, in order to put the extreme top spin on, it's very simple. Lay the pad longwise on the third horizontal string, the third cross string. No matter what racket you have, this is going to work. Take this strand, you see we've already set up three here. Don't worry about the extra length. Once you've attached it, just take a pair of scissors cut off the extra slack, you're never going to have to deal with it again. So, take the strand, put it down through the string, pull it back out, bring it back around, slide it simply through the hole, and you can, uh, you can attach it like that. And again, very easy, just cut off the extra slack. I should also mention that because the extreme topspin acts as a dampener, it can only be used to generate topspin. If you try to hit flat or slice shots, it's not going to make it over the net. But very simple product, very effective. Try this out. I guarantee you, you'll be generating more topspin, having more explosive ground strokes. So now let's talk about a few basic drills that you can do with the extreme topspin. So you can do this with a wall. You can do it with a friend. Let's just start with a wall. It seems simpler that way. Uh, hold the racket by the throat of the racket. You've already got the extreme topspin set in. And all you're going to do is simply come on up here and choose a side, forehand or backhand exclusively. And just against the wall, again, holding by the throat of the racket, lightly practice this low to high motion. You're going to get a feel for the topspin. You're going to kind of under, you're going to get a feel for the swing pattern. And just do it on the other side. Simply drop the ball, hit a few backhands against the wall. Again, Try and keep it in a straight line. Make sure that you're really working on one stroke at a time. As you get better, then you can start mixing it up. You know, if you're with a friend, you can stand on opposite sides of the net, obviously. Hit cross-court patterns. A great way to really get the feel for the swing and generate more topspin. As you start to switch between forehand and backhand ground strokes in the same rally, you are going to have to adjust the racket head. But other than that, it's a very simple, easy to use. These are very basic techniques. They're going to help you out. Do them. So one final drill. Uh, the whole measure, the whole reason that we're trying to generate the top spin is you get better height over the net, allows you more net clearance, you can get great depth of the shot. It's really going to put your opponent on their back foot. So a simple drill. Bring out a basket, take the racket. This time we're holding it at the bottom of the racket handle, not by the throat anymore and just drop and then hit the ball. Try and get more depth, more height. As you get as you get comfortable, back up further. Same goal. We're trying to get plenty of height over the net. We're trying to get it deep into the court. So by the end, you're at the baseline where you normally be. And you're hitting a very safe and effective shot. I'm never going to miss that. It's going to be over the net every single time. Use this product. Your shots will be the same way. to how we may think. Topspin's also used on the serve in addition to ground strokes. And you're always taught, okay, plenty of height on that second serve. Make sure it's nowhere near the net. Well, the extreme topspin can help you generate an effective second serve or just an effective kick serve, which you can use as a first serve. Very simply, start out on the service line, get your toss up there, and try and make sure that you're really focusing on swinging in a 6 to 12 o'clock pattern. Because of the extreme topspin's design, you're not going to be able to hit the ball flat. You're not going to be able to just float it in. You're going to be forced to generate this whipping 6 to 12 motion. 
it's going to allow you to get all this height over the net. And additionally, once the ball hits the ground, it's going to kick up out of your opponent's strike zone. You're going to be able to hit the ball as hard as you want, and it's never going to go in the net. Plenty of safety. So once you're used to serving from the service line, just serving into the other box, you'll back up, you'll do an actual serve from this baseline, and you'll get the hang of it.